Now in section 4.1.3, we, uh, we will discuss alignment of polar molecules. Let me first tell you what is basically a polar molecule. Uh, when we place a neutral atom in any electric field, then we don't have the dipole moment, means the atom was not having any dipole moment. But when we place it inside an electric field, then the electric field induces the dipole moment inside that atom. Means there is slight uh, dissociation or slight dislocation of the positive core in the negative cloud of electron. And that dipole moment we write P equals Q times D, the charge time, the displacement which has occurred there. But in nature, there are some molecules in which there is a built-in dipole moment. There means to the positive core, the negative, uh, the negative atoms are to the negative core, the positive atoms, they are at certain angle that they are having a tendency uh, like an in inclination or a tendency uh, which we call uh, which which induces uh, a built-in dipole moment in those molecules like we are having a water molecule and the angle involved there is basically causing a dipole moment in that uh, that molecule so if i consider uh, a water molecule then we are having almost an angle of this like the oxygen atom here and then the two hydrogen which are at an angle 105 degree between them and this angle basically makes them like plus here and minus here the oxygen and the two hydrogens so it's like uh, this is the polarization in this direction so i can i can uh, write this geometry is uh, we are having a positive core here means a positive charge let's say charge q and this uh, eight in angle we are having a negative charge which is minus q now they are separated uh, center to center distance and let's say this distance is d so we have the total distance is d and so this portion is d by 2 and this portion is d by 2 and now when uh, the system when the system is placed in a uniform electric field and let's say the direction of the electric field is this then what will happen that this will experience a force in this direction this will experience a force which is f plus in this direction and similarly this will experience a force opposite to that one because it is minus q so it will experience f minus in this direction now what will happen basically that it is going this way and it is experiencing force this way so this will uh, in a uniform electric field there will be no displacement but it will rotate and that torque will be produced in this uh, molecule so we say that f plus here is equal to q plus and e while f minus will be minus q and e here so we have uh, the torque which will produce in this system will be uh, let's say i write 
torque with n then it will be equal to as we know torque is r cross f so this will be r cross f now for r plus it will be plus and then this whole will be aided with another which is r minus and cross f minus so this is the origin and we are having the moment arm is r plus and r minus r plus and r minus we know that r plus is d over 2 and r minus is d over 2 so i can write that n is equal to d over 2 cross q times e and here d over 2 q times uh, e plus minus d over 2 because if that direction is plus d over 2 then this will be minus d over 2 and this is cross and minus q e the force here so minus minus will become plus and we have d by 2 q e and d by 2 q e so it will be q d and e the q d and e so i will write q d and cross here with this so i can write that torque in this system in this molecule is p cross e now look here that here we the torque the to, the torque produced in this molecule is perpendicular to p direction and perpendicular to e as well and perpendicular to the plane in which p and e exist so this torque will um, cause a rotation in this molecule so it will when uh, such a molecule is placed in electric field then the it will be rotated until p is along the direction of e and then it will reach the equilibrium position it will remain there as long as this field is applied there now the question is that what will happen if the field will not be uniform like we are having a different force here and a different force here so there will be a net force over there as well so in addition to torque there will be a force as well there will be a displacement as well and this displacement is that we will have some net force f equals to f plus and f minus there will be uh, imbalance between the forces and i can write that this is equal to q times e plus plus e minus the two electric fields they will be different so we will have some net electric field acting on this system and it will basically displace this system so in addition to the torque we will have a push we will have a displacement of the molecule as well now we can we can approximate this change in the electric field it is uh, it's usual to write this thing is uh, this is q delta e so delta e i can write if i focus on one component for example this delta e and i write its x component i write its x component then it is equal to 
R means this is equivalent if I take the variant R the partial over partial X of this partial over partial X of E X means taking the derivative of this with respect to E X and then multiplying this thing with the distance that it has been displaced d. So I can write this if I write this in terms of the all components here. So this is gradient of e x. I am writing introducing a dot product because it will be in the direction of this d then. So it will take only that component. Now, what uh, understand the situation? How or under what conditions we can write it like this? If we consider the dipole to be very small, the d is very very small here. So the variation and then for how much distance that variation has been noted. So it will give us the change in. Uh, that electric field here. So I can write this thing is uh, means that if I look at dimensionally to this one then this is change in this one. So this is basically delta E over the distance in which variation is noted multiplied with the total distance of variation. So if the dipole, it's a tiny dipole, the, the distance is very very small, then we can approximate this delta x like this. So I can write that in uh, three dimensions for all the components, this delta E is equal to, means I will have to then write a vector form because for all the components this is equal to del 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 e dot d del e dot d or I can write del e dot del e dot so it will be a scalar then because I am taking the gradient of it dot d. This can also be written as d dot del means due to its commutation and then e here in a vector form. So this can be approximated like this uh, mathematically there is no problem with this so I can write f equals q delta e so f is equal to q and then d dot del d dot del and then e here so this q can go n so it will make this q d dot del and e and q d we know that this is basically P, so the force is equal to P dot del E. P dot del E. So in a uniform, so in a uniform electric field, we will have only the rotation of this molecule or only torque will exist there. But if there will be a non-uniform electric field, then we will have in addition to the torque, we will have the displacement of this uh, or the variation in the position of this uh, dipole as well or this molecule as well.